At 80 bucks, the V240 AIO liquid cooler from Vetru offers some serious value. Today, we'll be taking a closer look at their brand new cooler, going over its features, and finding out how well it performs. First, let's get it unboxed. Opening the box reveals instructions for installation, two fully addressable 120mm PWM fans, mounting hardware, controller, and thermal paste, and last but not least, the V240 cooler. Taking a closer look at it, the radiator is fairly basic looking and the fin density is lower, but this is perfectly adequate. The tubing is sleeved in PET and they look clean, but they will definitely put up a fight when it comes to installation. The pump and water block combo has a full copper base and has the Vetru logo and RGB. This AIO supports Intel sockets on the mainstream from LGI 775 to 1150X and the Enthusiast 2011 socket. And on the AMD side, most of the mainstream sockets such as AM4 are supported. Now, let's get this in my system and see if it can adequately cool my CPU. Installation was relatively painless and it came together just fine. I did change the orientation of the pump block after trying again. It took some effort but I managed. To connect all the RGB, the cooler includes a SATA power controller that can either be synced with your motherboard via an addressable RGB header or you can use the preloaded lighting effects with the built-in button and you can even wire your reset switch to be able to control the lighting without messing with the controller. There's also a magnet on the back so you can stick it to your case with ease. Before I look at performance numbers, let's take a look at the specs. The pump is powered using a 3-pin cable and it maxes out at only 2800 RPM so it should be fairly silent. The fans use 4-pin PWM cables and have a max RPM of 1800 and the rated airflow is 58.8 CFM. With all of this in mind, let's take a look at the results. My config has a Xeon E5-2667, which despite being a modest multi-threaded 6-core with a 3.2GHz all-core turbo, it boasts a toasty 130W TDP. I have one exhaust and one intake in my Matrix 55. So, how well does it perform? With a full stress test on the CPU using Prime95, it did really well. Given my ambient temps are very cool, the cooler is very much at an advantage. Temperatures at idle were in the mid to high 30s, and even with a full load on the CPU, temperatures were very tolerable, being mostly below 60. On a hotter day, realistically, temps may be a tad higher, but even the case fans didn't really ramp up. Noise was also not an issue. My hard drives are the main source of noise, and this AIO didn't make things louder. The pump is barely audible compared to the fans. If I were to unplug my hard drives and use my PC normally, my keyboard would be louder, but the fans are definitely audible. The RGB also looks really nice and is pretty bright. Here's all the different lighting modes you get with the included controller. This cooler also comes in white if you're going for a different look. So, at 80 bucks, you really can't go wrong with this AIO. It has fully addressable RGB, solid build quality, and decent RGB fans. It even managed to keep my CPU cool with plenty of breathing room. The Vetru V240 gets a thumbs up from me, and I highly recommend taking a look at it. If you're interested in purchasing one, I'll put buying links in the video description. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or suggestions, Please let me know in the comment section and I'll do my best to get back to you. If you did enjoy the video, hit that like button, but if not, you know where to go. While you're there, consider subscribing to the channel and enable notifications for more quality tech videos. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.